Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. In our previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, talent management uh, profile management as well as the goal management. We have seen how to work with goal management and profile management. In this session, we are going to talk about performance management module, one of the important module. When the organizations wants to manage the employee performance, appraisals process, project-wise, duration-wise, uh, for any dates we can go for implement this performance management module. Finally, the outcome of this particular module is performance template preparation. Assign this template to the employees. And based on that, the employees will go through the process. In this session, we'll just discuss about what are the sequence setups we are supposed to perform when we are working with performance management. It's a standard question in the interviews they'll be asking us. The moment when we log into the applications, uh, which role is required to work with this human resource plus list role is required. Go to navigator. Here we can find performance management option here. Here we have some administration tasks. Those are not mandatory. These are the setups that are required. So when the, when the interviews, uh, they ask us, like, uh, tell me what are the setups you will do it in performance management module in the sequence order. So we have to say that when we are working with performance management, first we are supposed to define the eligibility profiles. We have to define the eligibility profile. It means uh, this performance template, if you want to assign for employees, you need to identify who are eligible for this performance template. Okay. And then we'll go for create this eligibility profile. This eligibility profile, we have already come across in uh, goal management as well as in options management. Same concept here also. After preparing this eligibility profile, then we are going to prepare the questionnaire section. Means uh, we'll list out the questions, whatever we wanted to ask the employees and questionnaire, questionnaire templates will be prepared here. So questions will go for prepare, we'll put it in a separate folder, and then we'll go for group it, we'll, it, it comes as a questionnaire templates, and then we are going to group the templates, it will become as questionnaires. This is one of the section which we will be having in our performance template. Based on this questionnaire, uh, we will go ahead with the template preparation. And after that, we will go for define any other sections if required, not only questionnaire section, there are some other sections. We'll also define that here, questionnaire sections and template sections. Then we'll define the performance process flow. When the employees or employees and managers are involving or any other participant are involving in the performance template process, we'll define what is the process flow for that here. And finally, we'll go for uh, define the rating models, if at all rating models and rules. And we'll go for group all these options and we'll make it as a template. We'll make it as a template. And once we make this as template, then employees are able to prepare the performance template process here. Okay. So we can do it setups from here, or we can also do it from FSM environment, functional setup manager. Let's go to FSM here. Here I can find performance management here, like within this talent management, we'll find performance management. Workforce development. Workforce development contains all our uh, goal management model, questionnaires, performance management model, and profile management model. Here we can find them. Let's go to the worker performance here. And performance value sets, lookups, flex fields, and any profile options we have that we can do it from here. And notifications, how frequently you would like to communicate with uh, your employees, sending the notifications to them that we'll be setting up this year. 
not only this uh, performance management module, goal management module notifications also will be sending. Okay. For example, when you want to send the notification to the employees, when HR assign a goal, when HR cancel a goal, when HR delete a goal, or when HR generate a goal plan. So this is the action. Whenever the action is happened, you can check this checkbox to send this uh, notification. And for example, whenever HR assign a goal to the employee, you would like to send a notification. So we can enable this. That's fine. And we would like to go for uh, change the template, view notification template we can find here. This is our BI report. This we have discussed in our technical sessions, how we can work with the technical BI reports option. And we can find here the data model and we can find the layout model here. If we click on this data model, we'll come to know how the data model is designed by Oracle for this. Here I can see, uh, click on this edit, you can find, otherwise if you go down here, we can find the queries. This is actually the technical consultant job. Technical consultant is going to work on this. Like we can see the table names also from here. What are the tables uh, contains this information and then we will find it. Okay, if at all we would like to modify the notification, we would like to go for uh, notification changes, then we will be using this options. Let me go to this notification. If at all we want to work with the layout, here it is. If at all we want to work with the queries, we have to do that here. Click on edit. We'll be able to open the template here. It will be RTF template, BI publisher. In the interviews, the client will ask us like, where do we enable the notifications for our goal management workflow notifications, right? Here only. Here only we are going to get it. This is one of the BI report RTF template. We'll be having the RTF template uh, coding here. Here we will have a fields. This, this information we can find out. This is uh, XML code will be written here. Yes. For this BI publisher software needs to be installed in our local machine so that we can open this tags and we can open find out. But anyway, that's technical consultant job. It's not going to be our uh, functional. But in the interview point of view, they'll ask us. Because as a functional consultant, when you are going to give the demo or uh, when you are going to give the presentation to your client, client will ask you, I would like to send the notifications only in this particular scenarios. Then how will you enable it? And we would like to customize these notifications. Where do we do that? Here, this customizations, we have to interact with technical consultant. What are the things possible? What are the things are not possible? Based on that, we are supposed to give the commitment for our client. This is for goal management. This is for performance management. This is for profile management. And this is for talent review. So all the talent management modules notifications will be able to work here it is. And of course, review periods, uh, for which period you would like to go for define the performance template. Like we when we were talking about goals, we have prepared the goal period. Same thing here, performance periods. And goal plans we have, so group of goals, we are going to have it. Whenever uh, we want to assign the goals to the employees, we have done it in the goal management. This goal plans we can access from the performance template. This is very much required because uh, when we are going to prepare a performance template where we would like to present employee goals, whatever the goals we assign, what are the goals employee has achieved, this information we would need to show it in the performance template so that based on that, the employees can take up the decision. So that, that there we call it as a performance template here it is. So these are the setups. We can do it either from FSM environment or we can do it from the setups. Go to setups, sorry, navigator, performance. You can find administration here. Administration will show us the performance document 
participant feedback. There are some people like uh, peers, other internal uh, team members and public and previous uh, project managers can involve and provide the feedback about the employee performance. That, that's where these things will come and document the eligibility profile. And if at all you want to assign your performance template to the multiple employees will perform this mass actions. Okay. So these are the setup and maintenance uh, we are going to have whenever we are working with our performance management. Okay. So here important questions when we are working with performance management is, can we define a performance template without questionnaire section? Yes, questionnaire section is not mandatory. It's optional section. What are the different types of sections we have? This is very, very important. Because whenever we are trying to prepare a performance template, according to the client requirement, these are the different types of sections. Information will put it on the template. Because the organization wants to measure the employee performance based on that, they wanted to take a decision and give the appraisals process. If the organization wants to know the employee performance, either they need to check the employee profile. This we have talked about in profile management module, where we will find employee personal details, qualification details, competencies, and also we will find the certificates and awards which employee has achieved. This is profile management. Based on this, we can find out Means like the manager wanted to know last six months, what are the certifications this employee has done. Based on that, he wanted to go ahead with the appraisals process. Next, performance goals, development goals can be displayed. Means what goals we have assigned to the employee and what goals he has achieved successfully. What is the rating? This And overall summary information, worker final feedback, manager final feedback, and questionnaire section. So how many sections we have total? Seven sections we have. Profile management, performance goals and development goals, worker final feedback and manager final feedback, overall summary, questionnaire section. But we can choose only one content here whenever we are working with one template section. For example, client says that I wanted to define multiple sections in my template. In my template, I would like to go for define multiple sections. This is very much a common requirement. Here we can find here uh, template sections. We can create multiple sections. For example, client is telling that questionnaire section 50%, goal section 50%. So that time what we have to do, we have to create two template sections. One is for 50%, another one is for 50%. And we have to go for assign these two sections to the performance template. We have to assign this to the performance. All the setups has to be assigned for template. Only. Whatever setups we do, finally, this all things we have to assign to performance template. Only. Okay. Where do we set up this 50% performance template section? The moment whenever we choose, this is a goal section. Okay. Then here we can find the weightage. Here we can find section weightage. In this section weightage, we are going to specify 50%. Another section we will go for create. We'll create one more template section. This time we will choose the questionnaire section where we'll provide the list of questions between the employee and manager. And that we will set up the 50%. Like this, multiple sections can be displayed over here it is. Okay, so this is another question. Then if at all goals are there, for example, I have prepared a goal plan. This is our goal management model where we have done last time implementation of the goal management. Here is a goal plan. How we can link this goal plan with our performance management module? Where do we set up this? While well, creating the goal plan, the organization wants to access this goal plan. 
in performance management module. Click on edit. There is option here, performance document type. When we are working in performance management, we have an option called performance document type. So performance document type will be used to link the goal plan with performance template with the performance template. That is the integration between goal management with the performance management. Then what is the integration between the performance management and profile management? While working with performance management, here you will create performance document, right? This you are going to integrate with your goal plan. This you are going to integrate with your goal plan, okay? Next, whenever we are working with template sections, I would like to access my profile content. I would like to access my profile content from there. So how will you set this profile content? When we want to set this profile content, whatever the profile section we have created in profile management, go to profiles. These are very important questions in the interviews they'll be asking us, how will you Integrate. Integrate in the sense access the information. So while defining this uh, content section, content section subscribers. Here is option performance manners. It means whatever the content section we are working here, whatever the content section, what is meant by content section? Group of fields which we are going to populate to capture the employee profile information, nothing but their education details, their uh, certification, competency, awards information. Whenever we want to capture, we will create a content section. Okay. And this uh, content section we will attach to the person profile. This we wanted to access from performance management. So what we have to do is content section subscribers. Here we have to choose performance management. It means this content section can be accessible from the performance management. So that's an integration between the performance management module with the goal management uh, as well as the profile management as well as the profile management that we are going to work here, okay? Thank you.